Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Electrical Point and my name is Raj Sharma and I always teach important electrical related conceptual videos in this channel in a easy manner. So guys, in my last video, I have got really useful and valuable good reviews and comments from you people. So guys, thank you for that. And guys, your comments and compliments is really valuable for me and that really motivates me to make this kind of videos in my channel. So guys, in today's episode, you see what I will tell you why neutral wire doesn't give an electric shock. So guys, in this video, I will discuss about that. And before starting the video, let me tell you, if anyone is new to my channel, please subscribe to Electrical Point and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all my videos through your notifications. Now let me start the video. So guys, if you are a little bit familiar to the electrical related things, you should know we get the electricity in our homes by two wires okay so see this is an electric pole and it is our house and we get the electricity by these two wires so one is called the phase wire and one is called the neutral wire and you should know when we touch the phase wire we always get the electric shock but if you touch the neutral wire you don't get the electric shock so what is the reason behind this why we don't get the electric shock from the neutral wire so let me explain you that so see this diagram first so there is a load here and it is an AC source or our 230 volt electricity supply that we get in our homes and load means it may be anything our fan light or motor anything okay and if when you touch this phase wire the electricity will flow through our body and we get the electric shock so guys why we get the electric shock that is also important to understand so see when we get the electric shock actually what happens current flows through our body okay so suppose this is a plug point three pin plug point okay and if you touch this point and this point is the where the live wire is connected and this point is always provided with the supply of 230 volt and when we touch this what happens our body touching the ground okay then what happens it's, uh, the current flow through our body to the ground and also remember the ground is always at the zero voltage level okay so that is why what actually happens this point is at 230 volt it is at higher potential and our ground is at zero volt it is at lower potential so definitely there will be electricity flowing through our body to the ground so this is this is the reason why we get the electric shock so guys same situation in this case also so our body has a resistance okay and that resistance is very low compared to our loads okay like our fan lights etc so what happens though our have a resistance the electricity will prefer to flow through our body rather than the our loads because our body has a less resistance compared to the loads okay now what will happen during the negative half because in alternating current the direction of the current always reverses after uh, half cycle okay like if this is an ac source okay let me draw the waveform in the first half the voltage will be positive or the current will be in the positive half cycle but in the negative half cycle the current direction of the current reverses and you see the waveform is going downward so in the negative half cycle the current will reverses the direction okay see when the uh, when during the positive half cycle the electricity will flow like in this direction okay and in this time also when we touch the phase wire we get the electric shock because this current will directly flow through our body but in the negative half cycle what will happen the direction of the current will change and it will flow like this so guys if you don't know this concept about alternating current you can uh, go to my video already on my channel or you can get that video by clicking the i button on this screen also so guys now i will explain you why we don't get the electric shock when we touch the neutral wire so guys one thing we don't know and that is the neutral wire is always grounded before it comes to our home now let me explain you so see this is the this is our one this is our neutral wire okay this is our neutral okay now the neutral is grounded see the neutral is grounded here so as i already told you 
the ground where uh, sorry our ground or the earth always has a zero potential so this point is a zero voltage now see the direction of currents during the positive half the current will flow like this and see it will it, it will cross the load and suppose at the neutral wire someone touches the wire okay so as i already told you the our body always has a resistance okay so from this point current can go through two parts okay one is our body or one is like directly to the ground so which path the current will follow of course the current will follow the grounded path not our body because our body has a resistance and if the current directly go to the ground it will not face any kind of resistance so the current always follows the zero resistance path so rather it flowing through our body it will directly go to the ground and that is why we don't get the electric shock and during the negative half cycle also uh, in this negative half cycle the current will directly go to the ground okay and it will not go further uh, in this direction so this is the reason guys why we don't get the electric shock when we touch the neutral wire now guys the question is where this neutral wire is grounded because uh, we don't ground the neutral wire in our homes now guys see this diagram so in our homes we get the electricity from an electric pole like this and if we follow that we will see that there will be other some electric poles okay and at the some point the two wires phase and the neutral is coming from a transformer you can see this in your places also always phase and neutral wire will come from a distribution transformer okay like this and this neutral wire is always grounded at the distribution transformer level okay so we don't need to ground the neutral in our homes actually so guys this is all about this video i hope you have understood the concept very well okay and if you have any doubt or you want to know anything you can freely ask me on the comment box and if you like the video share with your friends so that they can also get the benefit and guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe to electrical point and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my videos so guys see you in the next video so till then be safe and take care